PPIs or proton pump inhibitors is an acid reducing medicine we commonly prescribe. And so the study that came out was out of the University of Minnesota so with about 5,700 patients where they followed them over several years. And they looked at patients who were taking these med medicines over a period of time and those that weren't and observed that in the cohort that was taking these medicines, there was a higher number of patients who were ultimately diagnosed with dementia. And the take home was the cohort where they saw a difference was in those taking the medicine for more than four and a half years. This is not the first time we've asked this question in the medical community. There have been several studies that have looked at dementia and its association with PPI use. And so to name a few, there was one that was published back in June of this year at 18,000 patients, so three times more than the one that was just published, and they did not find an association. So this question has not been definitively answered. And the study, much like the one that was just published, isn't the highest level of evidence. In clinical studies, we have hierarchies of what is good and bad study, and this falls somewhere in the middle. You know, it's a, it's a large number of people, but not the largest. And it wasn't studied in such a way where we could claim causality, meaning you cannot conclude from the study that PPIs cause dementia. We can only say that there may be an association between the two. I would say, again, take this with a grain of salt. You know, the study didn't answer several important questions and address other factors that are related to dementia, such as socioeconomic status. They didn't address hearing loss, vitamin deficiencies, psychiatric comorbidities, things that we know can affect the diagnosis of dementia. They didn't address or even question in this. And so unfortunately, that decreases the strength of the finding, but it brings up some great points. We should always be asking ourselves, what side effects do medications have? All medications have side effects, and we don't always understand it. So being honest with our physicians, prescribers, etc., is an important step in evaluating your medication list and scrutinizing whether or not you should be on it. The reality is this, there are a lot of conditions where patients should be on PPIs long-term. We use them to treat gastrointestinal bleeding, to prevent cancers of the esophagus, to prevent cancers elsewhere. But there are also people who are on these medications that don't need to be, that may be on them to treat symptoms of acid reflux. And so there are other things you can do. If you and your prescriber come to an agreement that you don't need to be on this medication, acid reflux can be treated by quitting smoking, decreasing alcohol use, being careful about the foods that you eat and avoiding ones that can be triggering for acid reflux. And then finally too, losing weight and exercising can be really important for minimizing acid reflux as well. Definitely talk to your prescribing provider. It's important that you have an open conversation with your prescriber. We in the field want to have these conversations with you and we want you to feel good about the medicines you're on and that they're benefiting you and the benefits outweigh the risks. But have this conversation before stopping it. As I've mentioned before, there are a lot of conditions that are treated with these medicines and conditions that can get worse and put patients at risk if they abruptly stop the medication.